Welcome to another edition of Boxbusters. I'm Brian, he's Chris. This is 2012-13 Panini Marquee. Live about a week ago. What are we getting here? 20... It's a dense box. I just know. It is a dense box. It's kind of heavy. 20 packs, 8 cards per packs. What do you know, Chris? Uh, about, well, how much is about it? About 100 to 120 bucks a box. 5 to $6 per pack. Yep. It's a dense one. It's got what two autographs per box, I believe, something uh, like that. What does it say? I don't. Here? I don't know if the panel said that much. I just maybe on the back. It says look for autographs. Well, it's it's a this is a new brand, new line, wow, to totally heavy. different look. Look at oh yeah, yeah. of course the yeah. Kobe anthology. Dun dun dun. This is a lot of stuff here. This is a very dense stack of cardboard. Let's see if we keep our streak alive. Do we have to? <laughs> Why not? Our streak's been ugly this year. And it lives on. And it lives on. Just a bunch of anthology, Kobe anthology. Base cards. Mm -hmm. Do they smell? No. Not any more particularly cardboard than usual. And then, and oh, yeah. before we get going too long, watch till the end of the video. We're going to give away, away an unopened box of this stuff right here, right now, in the comments below. So, not right now. So, just we'll tell you how at the end of the video, but not right now, but we're doing it now. These are thick cards. So that explains yeah. it then, huh? That's the density? Yeah. Ooh. A massive box of cardboard. Massive. Uh-oh, foil board mania. Yeah, here's your Jay Crowder rookie. Assuming that's a base card. Oh, wow. Well, this is some funky funky. Here's a... Interesting. Um, some Probably some sort of parallel, right? This messed me up when I first looked. Which one is it? I don't know. It's blue. It doesn't look like the other uh, one. I think it's Maybe it's a subset. Yeah, it, there's a lot of weird inserts. Card number in 197. One. Must be a parallel. Parallel or a I subset? I haven't written about this in months. This really threw me off. Look at that. I thought it was a misprinted card. What is it? Pretty crazy, isn't it? Oh, don't. Oh. When I first glanced, that's what I saw. I'm like, what? Printing yeah. error? What? Yeah. It's a die cut card. Uh, oh okay. yeah. I thought it was a uh, I can see you. Something in there. It is a die cut rookie of Tobias Harris. It's card number 344. I have no idea if every card is cut like that, but that's an interesting one. And not only that, in this pack I also have an acetate rookie card which is also transparent. See through it, see through it. This time it's on plastic. Woo! Pretty crazy. A couple of these rookie either parallels or but, you know, subsets. This uh, this is this has a lot of different textures. I think this they may be playing to the uh, past and present uh, formula with different uh, feels and things. I have a rookie rivals card here, which has kind of a kind of a oh, and it's got magic on the back. Magic Johnson, Larry Bird on the front it has kind of a leathery feel. The back is a standard card, but. It looks like they're going for, going for some variety and some printing technology gimmickry, if you want to use that I think word. of what this product reminds me of, the, the card stock and the way they feel. And look um, like. When I saw them at the store, I was thinking there was a Pacific brand, like Invincible or something. Maybe. I don't know if that's the name of it, but there was one that had a lot of etched etching on top of this. Yeah. But uh, uh, Nolan Smith autograph, sticker autograph, card number 74. I believe assuming part of the base set, pack. maybe. What's Kobe that? Bryant. I've opened one pack and it's been like five minutes. It's crazy. Pick it up. You, got, you got ten more to go. I know. We don't have a fifty-minute break. I, don't I know. Nobody wants to watch fifty minutes it's a of Friday. Oh, you, oh yeah. Really? Oh okay. yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the, I, there's. I don't. The exact names on these are all over my head because it's literally. I haven't had time to look. It was two or three months ago when I wrote the preview story. But uh, the swirl technology, of yeah. course. Yeah. A uh, Bismarck Biombo uh, card, a rookie. And a dark mirror. This, oh boy. We must have all kinds of stuff going on because here's the same thing, but it's another yeah, rookie. It's black, right? Will I Barton. got one of those too. Yeah. And then I got one of your die cuts and one of your. That's interesting. It's different. I mean, the stars you, of the night. You probably need a primer insert. to figure out what the heck it is, just like we do. Yeah, but, once uh, we start seeing. Start really digging in, we'll, we'll be able to figure it out. I bet the sell sheet has it all broken down perfectly. I don't know if I ever saw a sell sheet for this oh. one, though. Okay. Checklist in the Beggy database. There you go. We can try That's to use that to figure it out. If it's in there, man, I'm It good. is. No, it's there. It's there. He integrated the plug very well there. There you go. I did. Stars of the Night. I got one of those. Kevin Love. Carmelo Anthony. Stars in the Night. Talk about the mix. There's a nice... Um, there looks to be a mix of... Uh, 
Legends all the new, and all the new in the base set. So Man, these, these packs are huge. They're really heavy. It's it, I guess they had they probably didn't have to do it for the foil board fronts because they've done foil board cards before, but man, it's just different. Another one of these those draws die cuts there. there. Legends card. Carmelo Anthony. Let's Pretty see. interesting. This is the Knicks pack. We got uh, Mark Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony, and Tyson Chandler. Well, I have another Nick. Chris Copeland on acetate. Very weird cards. The die cut card of LaVoy Allen. I don't know if I half belched there. I didn't mean to. It was painful. <laughs> My, I, have different... had, I have had two Mountain Dews today so far, so be warned. It's a black swirly that is, thing there you go. as opposed to the blue the blue swirl. I'm sure it's all very scientifically organized, yes. but however, us doing it this way, we're like a lot of collectors. We're yeah. just going to open it open and go, it what the heck is Try and figure out what it is. So maybe there's something to be said for simplicity or craziness. <clears throat> what do you prefer, simple or crazy? I prefer simple. I just like... But does crazy sell better? Yes, I think so. So, so that probably explains why, right? It makes you feel like you get a lot of stuff. It is, and exactly. You do. So, Ooh, here's another here's a different kind of die cut. Good Lord. All rookie die cut. I meant that in a good way, but. <laughs> that's crazy. Difficult to, to print and to cut All that rookie. way, maybe. And, oh, it looks like. I wonder if that star was supposed to be popped out and it didn't pop out. Uh, what do you think? OJ Mayo? Uh, it go. doesn't. I mean, it. it Maybe, but I'll have to look at some other. You ones. can't tell in the back. I mean, it's slightly indented, but yeah, I don't you can't know. tell. In the I back. think that would blow out the card if they didn't pop that one out. Or maybe it's supposed to be all star rookie. Ooh, that's maybe. true. Uh, whatever, we'll figure it out. The the basic cards themselves, the, the the foil board fronts. I've seen it before. It's not anything too out there. The backs are very nice, very uh, hoops slash your typical panini. You know, good stat package bio. Pretty standard fare. The uh, the variety of the other cards, which is what we're talking about, I think I think it's a win so far. Um, just got to figure out what the heck is what, which color's the rarest or which color's the norm. Andrew Nicholson autograph card, Markeith Morris rookie card, Jordan Hamilton swirl card. And well, this is probably the marquee the... logo reminds me of the Knicks logo. Yeah, it's it, it's a little like overwhelming, it. but. They're going for some branding there, I guess. Yeah, it takes up a lot, you know, pretty big, it's pretty big part of the card. Exactly. Here's one of those leather-feeling cards of John Henson. Nice. Check out this fade. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Great hair. Iman Shumpert, rookie from the Knicks. He just got in trouble for having an Adidas oh, symbol boy. shaved in his head. Not in trouble. The NBA told him he couldn't do that. Uh, probably. That sounds familiar, actually. Ooh, here's a red swirl thing of Damian Lillard. That might be a pretty good card. I mean, Lillard's obviously a good card, but now that red the swirl, the red swirl. We've seen. Ooh, interesting. Some odd, oddball uh, uniform. <coughs> uh oh. <coughs> uh oh. Some, some oddball in uniform inclusions here. How about uh, Lowell Dang in an all red Bulls jersey? And that goes right along with the Kobe Bryant on the box. I don't know if you noticed this. I barely did. It's an all white Lakers jersey, which I think was from Christmas or something, where it's you know all white instead of yellow, purple, etc. So look for some alternate photographs and things like that in this one too. Got a slam dunk champions insert. You're gonna have to open some of my packs. That's unprecedented. Yeah, I'm really far ahead on you in this one. Okay, I'll. Rip so we got the black rookie, the red rookie, the blue rookie swirls. Kyrie Irving die cut all rookie. Yeah, I got a die cut. All rookie. Alec Burks. Andre Drummond. Rookie here. I don't know if that's a subset or Ooh. if it's. How about the value collector card? Ooh, that'll work though. Card number one rookie signatures. Kyrie Irving. Oh, really? Nice. So, needless to say, this is probably the better of the two boxes, but we're going gonna, to gonna give away the unopened one sitting on his desk. So, down below, we're going to do it now. Send it at the end. There you go. Let's see. Do we do the simple trivia? Do we do just leave your name? What do you think? Trivia, they could just copy the last guy. So that's, exactly. that's kind of stupid, so just leave a comment. Make them work a little bit? I don't know. The problem is they're all going to copy whatever we make them do. <laughs> um, work more than us. But uh, Do you like complicated, crazy products? Or do you the, like yeah. simple, straightforward? Simple or crazy and tell us why. And I don't even really think that this is 
crazy. It's not too, it's crazy. Not, not too complicated, but we were, we were talking about it, so there, that's our question. So there you go. What do you that. like? Simple or crazy? And tell us why. Here's another one of those different jerseys. Simple or crazy? Thank you. There you go. There's, there's that Kevin Let's Durant. Here. And here's a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Champions. This, I, you know, I like the look of these other cards. I just It's a little weird trying to figure out the formula. Hakeem Olajuwon Legends. Gustavo Ayon. Magic Blue ah, Swirly. Chris, those are not swirly. They are called... I'm calling them swirly. No, they are called Swirlorama. Uh, that sounds familiar. There you go. It should be familiar. That's probably what I wrote. How about Slammed the other ones? Legend Swirl Swirlorama. I just like the fact that we can see through it. That's going to be problematic later on. Oh, wow, here's a different Swirlorama. How about a slam dunk Swirlorama? No, it wasn't. I got a Kevin Durant. I got one. I got so Kevin I got. Durant. Come on, man. Give me a break. I'm really messing with you now because these cards are all over the place. I'm not it's even fine. showing them all. Final pack. People are probably like, that's dog. So we got, what, two autos? Yes, we got our two our autos. Roll tight, plus a third redemption. There you go. Oh, you got a, you wait, you got a second one? Oh, yeah, you did, right there. Yeah. Okay. Derek Williams, black card. Tristan Thompson, red swirly, so the red swirlies are at least two per box. Champions, David Robinson, I like that. The acetate card of not just a yep. rookie. That's that was cool. in my last pack, too. And uh, my final card, Rodney Stuckey. Yeah. 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 Yep. So, final thoughts, Chris. A little confusing, um, a little simple. Actually, the die cutting it's it's different, but yet it's kind of when they cool. come it's almost different. you know several several per box. I don't know if it's going to wear me out or not. It might. I, I am not a fan typically of the acetate cards. These look really cool. Yeah. With the variety of the rookies and the champions, I like these a lot. I like these leather things, leathery cards. Yeah, on my that, nose. Those are cool. That's been done. That's the, been done uh, where uh, the last couple of years there have been some leather textures, mm -hmm. but this. The white print on plastics, in other words, it's basically like a normal card just with a little bit of transparency. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Because autographs are gonna look awesome on stuff like this. So overall, I it's a little more expensive. You got three autos for 120 bucks. Yeah. That's probably about the norm for that price point. Yeah. Um, didn't well, get we, any. We probably we probably did pretty we well on ours. Yeah, yeah, we did. I mean that's a good that's a good it's autograph. Better, we also cool. got the Old guys, Lower, new guys, lots yep. of rookies. I think that's a formula for a win. So. Yeah. So I think we like it. It is available now, the checklist on Becca.com. Pricing will be available probably sometime middle of next week. So until next time, I'm Brian. He's Chris. And we'll see you. Comment below. Simple. Oh, wait. Simple. Simple. Or crazy. Crazy. We'll see you.